Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an airline pilot and a member of PMDG's tech team. So, we are taking off in our Boeing 737 and that is very soon going to happen on Xbox as well. To be entirely clear, this video is recorded on the PC version of Microsoft Flight Simulator. So, PMDG has just today, on the 25th of May 2023, posted an update on their forums that the checks required by Microsoft for a release of the 737 700 and 800 on marketplace for both PC and Xbox have been signed off by Microsoft. And therefore, Robert goes ahead to say that he has a reasonably decent suspicion that both will appear for PC and Xbox users during the weekly release cycle on Thursday evening, which is today at the time of this recording, the 25th. Robert does not have any way to know this for sure, but if you don't see them this week, they will most certainly be a week from Thursday, so next week. There is no insight for PMDG into the backend processes, so please, there is no reason to be frustrated when we don't see them immediately. All of the testing and checking steps are cleared, and that is all that PMDG can really see in the process, so the rest of it is up to Microsoft for the actual release. So, let's go over what you can expect from the Xbox version of the PMDG Boeing 737. Well, basically, the same as for the PC version, with the exception that the PMDG Operation Center is not available, and for that reason there are no liveries available except for those which could be included in the official release. Now, going ahead from there, in the past already Robert Randasso has posted that he wanted to make a livery package available for the 737. Initially this was announced as going to be at no price, however when they said that they overlooked a long published detail in the marketplace agreement stating that the minimum pricing for an item in marketplace is $4.99 and thus the livery packages for each product will come with that price tag. So it's going to be $4.99 for the livery packages for the PMDG 737. Now there's a little bit of information on those in an update from the 13th of March where Robert said that the liveries have been uploaded, but had not yet been worked on by Microsoft. And so he asked the users if the general 737 release for that platform should be delayed due to the lack of liveries, or if that release should go forward anyway with or without liveries. And eventually the users opted that the package should be released without the liveries straight away. And that is exactly what's going to happen. Now, based on that, there was a little bit further update from PMDG in a later update saying that there were some problems found with deliveries from Microsoft's site, so those had to be redone and had to be um, submitted again, and therefore they are going to come a little bit later. So, basically, when a company like PMDG submits an update like a livery package to Microsoft for the release on Xbox, then Microsoft has to go over that package first and has to basically clear it. And that process can take a little bit of time there. And therefore it is quite hard for PMDG to predict when exactly that livery package is going to be available. Now, with all of that said, uh, why don't we have a quick look into some screenshots that Chris Marcus, one of PMDG's um, administrators, has posted in the PMDG forums. Now, personally, I do not have an Xbox, so I cannot show you anything directly from there. However, here's what Chris has posted in the PMDG forums. And I will just let you take those in without too much commentary before uh, going ahead with the rest of the video. So simply go ahead and enjoy those.
Of course, I'm going to post the link to the forum topic where those were posted in the video description below so that you can have a look at the original images in their full size, which I would absolutely recommend you to do. They really, really look good. And I have to say that this is probably going to be the best aircraft on Xbox for a very long time. Obviously, take that with a little grain of salt as I'm not totally independent in terms of the PMDG 737. All right, so... That's going to be it for this update. I would like to thank you very much for watching. Hope that you've enjoyed this one. If you did, do let me know in the comments below. As always, like, comment and subscribe as that really does help out the channel. And I'm very much looking forward to welcoming you all again on the next one. In the meantime, thank you for watching and see you all again very soon.